This week, we've got updates to calendars, permissions, and brand new if else logic within the workflow builder. You're not going to want to miss this weekly breakdown coming up right now. All right, guys, first up this week, we've got a brand new calendar uh, called the personal booking calendar in here. Now, don't get confused. Uh, this doesn't really add any functionality. This is pretty much uh, just the round robin uh, calendar without multiple people in it. And then there's another calendar that people were using. Uh, oh, simple calendar is I think what it was called, but that was a little confusing. So this is just basically a rebrand of a simple calendar um, or a round robin with only one teammate. So essentially, if you have one person that you want this calendar to be for, most people, it's going to be you, right? If, if this calendar is only for you, there's no chance that you're going to share this with somebody else. Um, this is just your standard personal meeting calendar. Apparently, um, looking at the notes, apparently there was some confusion around this, right? Users uh, were hesitant to use the round robin option as it seemed suited for multiple users. As a result, many resorted to using the event calendar, unaware that it is meant for physical events and does not support Zoom or Google Meet. So if you've had issues, uh, linking Zoom or Google Meet to your calendar in the past, it may be because you are using an event calendar and the event calendar wasn't meant for that, which is weird um, because you can't have online events, right? You can't have it uh, uh, online like a Zoom uh, event, but I suppose that's not gonna be unique for each individual. So all this is uh, meant to say that now you have the ability to choose a personal booking calendar, which is uh, going to be the default, right? One individual team member, not, you can't have any more than that. It grays everybody else out. These are meant for one team member. So that's it. That's the personal calendar uh, new in your account. All right, next up, we've got uh, permissions. More granular permissions are now available inside of uh, the team management section. So this is either gonna be in the team management section at the uh, account level, or if you have an agency, this will also be at the agency level. Um, but you can see this, the, the permissions management is completely different than it was. Now, this has been in labs for a while. So if you enabled this in labs already, then this doesn't look new to you. Um, but you guys, this is brand new. If you haven't had it enabled in labs, you have the ability to, to get much more granular in how you define permissions and how you define how people can interact with the system. So um, check it out. They are going to continue to make improvements to this. There are like some of these are way oversimplified. There definitely will be improvements to this to come. Um, this is straight out of beta, straight out of lab. So we expect to see uh, many improvements and, and for them to happen rather quick. All right, last up, we've got a new if else logic, um, like a new if else logic interface, I suppose you would call it. Um, you have scenarios now, so they give you pre-built scenarios in here to kind of help guide you through the creation of workflows, which is cool. If you've never used if else logic, then this is probably the, this is probably gonna be a, a good first step for you because now you can come in here, you can select from one of the pre-built condition templates to kind of inspire, you know, give you inspiration for, for creating the rest of the workflow. Um, you know, get your kind of get your wheels turning. So for example, has tag, this one we've already used a couple times, very simple, right? And it just pre-selects the tag for you so that you can uh, just jump in here and select the actual tags. You can also say last appointment at, okay? And it's gonna show you, boom, last appointment at is on, and then you can do this. So these are like pre-built pre work uh, logic for you essentially. So um, you can see there's more in here that we can't access because they're dependent on the type of trigger that you have in here. Um, but again, these are, you know, these are really cool for you to come in, especially if you've never built workflows before. Come in here, create a recipe, look at what the logic is like. You can learn a lot from creating one of these recipes and then just looking and seeing, ah, okay, that's how they accomplish that. This isn't meant just to predefine some actions for you and you're only limited to these. It's meant to get, get your wheels turning, right? Get you thinking about what this logic can do and then you can get creative with it. All right, guys, that is it for this week's weekly breakdown, short and sweet, but a couple really cool updates, specifically that scenario recipe builder within the if else logic builder, guys, that thing we just covered. Um, you guys definitely, if you've never played with workflows before, you're definitely gonna wanna check that out. Um, but that's it for this week's weekly breakdown, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for next week's breakdown, but until then, we'll see you at the top.